Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I thought I would do some updates on some previous project pans. I've actually been asked quite a few times on a few of my 2021 Pan That Palette update videos. If you've missed those, I'll have that playlist up in the cards. But some people are interested in how my 2020 Pan That Palette is doing. If you missed my 2020 Pan That Palette journey, I panned almost like 90% of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Sugar Palette. And throughout the course of the year, I worked through my, I worked through the palette. I worked through my feelings around toxic people and death of the artist and kind of, it was really interesting. And honestly, the shit show palette mitch, matched the shit show year that was 2020. So it's interesting. It's an interesting series. I really recommend you check it out. Um, but basically what I have left is a face palette that I made of what few remaining shades that I had left at the end of the year. And I had some people interested in how that palette was, you know, working for me and how often I'm reaching for it. So I thought I would do an update on that palette as well as some products in the last project pan that I did, which I believe was the 2020 uh, Harry Potter project pan. So I've got the products that I hadn't already finished from that project pan here as well. So I thought it'd be fun to just do a couple of updates. Let's go in first with the HP Project Pan products. So for that project, I had five products. I actually completely panned two of them. So I had the Becca Royal Glow Highlighter, my original one, completely panned that. And then I had the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighting Duo in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I also completely panned that as well. So the remaining products, they were all eyeshadows. And the first product that I had in this project was the Collab Eyeshadow Palette. And I made a lot of like awesome progress on this. But I have to say, I don't think I've picked this palette up once since this project. And to be honest, I think it's just because I have these shades and other palettes and the formula of those other palettes is just better than this one. So this one for me is actually like on the chopping block to get decluttered in my next declutter because I really don't reach for it. And honestly, the shades that I liked, I've either hit pan on or used up. So while it was okay, and I'm glad I used the project to make progress on this, I, I am not reaching for it since the project, which is eye opening to me because that's pretty sure a, like a clear sign that I need to move this along. Next, I had two loose shadows from Geek Chic Cosmetics, and I had these two right here, both green shades. I had See You Space Cowboy and Evil Lurks. I have to say, See You Space Cowboy, the light green, I've barely touched since the project. I have actually brought out Evil Lurks quite a bit because this shade, it's technically a matte with like glitter pieces inside of it, but it's like a dark, dark, dark green, almost black with a tinge of green. And I love that shade, especially when I'm doing an all green look and I need something to deepen up the outer V, but I don't want to use a stark black because I still want to keep that green in there. This is literally perfect for that. So I have reached for this whenever I'm doing a specific kind of green look that I want to bring this in for, but I really haven't reached for CU Space Cowboy. So half and half here, I still like the shades like these since they are loose and there's so much product in here. I don't think I would declutter these just because I know there's like a time and a place for them in my collection, but yeah, I haven't reached for them as much as I did during the project, definitely, but at least I've actually gone in and used them. <laughs> All right, last for the HP Project Pan were the shades I hit pan in in my big green brown palette from Natasha Denona. And I have to say, I really have not picked this one up either because I'm focusing on my other Natasha palette, which is my 2021 pen that palette, the Lila palette. So here, I think I've pulled this out to do a couple of looks here and there, um, especially using this shade. I love this shade. This, this um, shimmer shade right here is beautiful. And then this shade down here is actually pretty unique. But I've been trying not to use this as much because A, I already have pan in it, and B, um, I, I just, I'm trying to focus on the Lila palette. And there is one thing I've learned about Natasha shadows is that the mattes in particular are dense and there's a lot of product. It takes you a while. I think it took me almost the entire project to hit pan on, I don't think this is like a full matte, it might be, but it, to me it seemed more kind of like a satin, a light satin, but it took me a while to hit pan on that. So. I've been trying to focus on other palettes, but I mean, it's still a pretty palette. Do I, do I regret the purchase? Absolutely, because this thing is way too much money, but at least I'm raging for it, right? <laughs> this is something that, like, I honestly, if I didn't already have pan in these shades, this would be in the Petty Project Pan, because I'm keeping it for a petty reason, and it's because I finally used it. Like, there's, you can see the wear on here but it was way too expensive. And there's no way at this point that I can get rid of it because I have to justify the price to myself now. <laughs> All right, so moving on to my 2020 Pan That palette. To be honest, just looking at the face palette that I created, I don't think you're gonna see much of a difference. So this is how my face palette looks. To be honest, I don't think you can tell much difference in actual like wear, um, but I can tell you I have brought this out and used this quite a bit this year. 
So let's see, in particular, I bring this out to really use, I actually like the way the bronzer and contour shades came out. They work really well, surprisingly, for my complexion. And I think those out of everything are probably the most utilitarian and like useful shades that I created using shadows from the Blood Sugar palette. Other than that, I have actually brought this out specifically on multiple occasions this year for the purple blush. I'm actually really happy that I made a purple blush here because it's like perfect. It's not too pigmented because I can, but I can build it up. So that's the thing. I didn't want like a stark purple blush because on my complexion, I'm pale, almost pale as the wall back here, but I'm pale. So if I have something that's way too uh, pigmented, it's just going to be like purple, I, but I don't want it to scream purple. I want it to be like, purple that's that's what I want my cheeks to say you know um and this is perfect honestly <laughs> I love this purple blush and I brought it out specifically when I'm doing purple looks especially the Lila palette I have to say having the Lila palette there have been several days where I've done like a bit more editorial looks or I'm playing around and the purple blush is perfect when I'm using those tones in the Lila palette so those are the shades I've been using the most often to be honest I've kind of neglected these blushes up here but they're still really pretty they're pretty, they're useful, and I do bring this out. So I have to say I'm glad still that I used whatever was left of my blood sugar palette to make this face palette because I've got some really great shades in here. And to be honest, I'm, I'm no in no rush to finish this up. I don't want to like hurry up and get through this because this is a good like solid face palette for me that I created for me using shades that I really wanted to transform. So yeah, so I see myself keeping this around for a while, most likely bringing it out for the blush. And then who knows, maybe um, I might pop these two out, make this a full blush palette, and then take the bronzer and the contour out, maybe put them in their own palette, and I could use those kind of separately, and then make this, maybe I'll franken two more blushes and make this a full actual blush palette. Because you know, I might do that. Because you know what I really want to do? I have been craving um, like an orange, like not just peach, orange blush and I've been looking at like palettes I could buy and I was like oh, I don't know if I want to buy like a whole blush palette for just like you know one shade I should do that I should okay because I know I want orange so maybe an orange and then what else Give, leave me your suggestion down below looking at this if I took these two out to finish up this blush palette I would want an orange and what other shade do you think I should franken next so that's it for my updates on previous Project Pan products. I hope this satisfies your curiosity. Let me know down below what you think my next blush shade should be. And if you reach, if you've Project Panned in the past and you still have those products around, if you still reach for those. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.